Hi folks, this is Melvin from Optoproductions.com with another VCV Rack tutorial. This time I'm gonna talk about effects. I'll start out with the delay which comes bundled with VCV Rack by default. After that I'll show you a cool spring reverb module by Bevaco. So I have this basic patch right here with a sequencer going into a ADSR module which is sending the envelope to both a VCF and a VCA. Now, let's add our delay module. Right click, and if you can't find it, just type in delay, and you can immediately use the search function. And there it is. I'll take this cable going into the audio module and connect it to the input of the delay. And for the output, we have two options. A wet output and a mix output. Wet is useful if you're using this delay with an external mixer module. But to keep things simple, I'll just use the mix output. So we can control the dry wet balance inside the module itself. Right, let's take a listen. Now, this module has all the things you would expect from a typical delay. A time knob. controlling the time between each delay, a feedback knob, a tone knob, which is basically a low pass if you turn it to the left, or a high pass if you turn it to the right, and a mix knob. You can easily sync the tempo of this delay to a clock signal. Since I already have a sequencer running with a clock, I can just patch another cable by holding Ctrl or Command and connect it to the clock input. Now, depending on where you have the time knob set, it may not sync properly. In order to sync it properly, you need to double click the time knob. Now it says 0 0.5 seconds. Now the delay follows the clock signal of the sequencer, but it plays the same rhythm. So if you want to change the delay to double time, you just need to halve the time. So 0.25 five zero seconds uh, right click to enter exact values let's try that or you can halve it again of course to get 16 notes This might not be as convenient if you're looking for dotted 16th notes, for example. But remember, it's modular. Not everything has to be exact. Just use your ears. Now the fun starts by checking out the CV controls. Each knob can be controlled by its own CV input. Let's add an LFO to demonstrate this. I'll send the sine wave output to the time CV input and turn up the time CV knob a little bit. Now if I slow down the LFO a little bit and maybe turn down the CV a little bit you can get some pretty interesting rhythmic effects. All right, let's check out the feedback control. By the way, these CV knobs are attenuverters. So if you turn to the right, they add, and if you turn to the left, they subtract. The tone CV input is pretty straightforward, but it can sound very musical. And the 
at last, CV input is pretty straightforward as well. Now let's try to use the other LFO outputs to see what we can come up with. I'll connect the sign output to the time, the show output to the feedback, and the triangle to the tone. All right, easy peasy. Now imagine what it would sound like in stereo. Here's a patch with two delays set exactly the same. Now check out what happens if I connect the LFO output to the time CV input of the left delay. Mind blowing. Nah, not really, but still very powerful. All right, let's add another typical effect, a spring reverb. Right click and look for spring. Oh wait, we don't have a spring reverb. VCV Rack doesn't have a spring reverb by default, but luckily, if you go to the library tab and click on browse VCV library, you go to the website where you can browse through hundreds of modules by third-party manufacturers, including software emulations of real physical modules. Some modules are paid, but most of them are free. Let's use the search bar and type in Bevaco. Press enter. Bevaco has a ton of modules, including a spring reverb. Simply click on the add button and now all Bevaco plugins will be added to your library. You can do the same for other modules as well. Simply click add. And now if you go back to VCV Rec, to the library, you'll see updates down below. Now you need to click on update all. VCV Rec will download and it will tell you to restart the application. Now if I right click again, I can see a bunch of new modules. Now let's look for the spring reverb. And there we have it. This module has two inputs. Input one is a dry input, which can be used with a big dry wet control on top. And input two is a wet only input. Let's take the mix output from the delay and connect it to input one. Then we'll connect the mix output to our interface. Now, if you turn up the slider, you'll hear a typical spring reverb sound. Now, imagine what we can use the second input for. We also have a wet output. What if we connect the wet output to input 2? Yup, you guessed it right. We get some dangerous feedback going on. Let's try it out. We can use the built in high pass filter to change the sound of the reverb. Of course, we can also add a filter in between. Let's try that. Connect the wet output to the input on the filter and the low pass filter output to input 2.
we can add an LFO and send it to the CV input number two. This will create some random feedback effect. Alright, that's it for today's video. There are loads of effects modules to explore, such as distortion, wave shapers, granular delays, ring modulators, and what have you. But even with a simple delay and some CV inputs, you can create some wild sounds that are impossible to recreate outside of the modular realm. I hope you learned something today, and if you want me to make a video about a specific topic, please let me know in the comments. All right. Happy patching!